And teachers, parents, and students of the Polk County School District are stunned by the brutal death of Espinoza's mother, a second grade teacher at Ben Hill Griffin Elementary School. News Channel 8's George MacArthur joins us live in Frostproof from where his mother worked. You spoke to other teachers and they're all stunned by this, right, Georgia? That's right, Stacy. The staff here still trying to come to terms with what happened. Teachers say Elvia Espinoza was the perfect role model for her students. And in fact, the teacher that I spoke with today says Elvia always dreamed of being an educator. Thank you for being a light to the people in our community. Thank you for being a light to your kids. I know today was probably the hardest day uh, or finding out from their parents. A somber reflection of a devastating loss. Elvia Espinoza, a second grade teacher at Ben Hill Griffin, died after deputies say her son stabbed her. She was a student in school and so um, she came into um, working with me and trying to motivate her to get graduated. She was very motivated already. Nancy DeMarco, who works at Frostproof Middle Senior High School, taught Elvia. She says Elvia always had a passion for education. Had a zest for life, and, and that's what I remember about her. Her big smile. And my mom and dad for sacrificing so much and for being the perfect role model. Her son, Emmanuel Espinoza, was once a celebrated valedictorian in Frostproof. Elvia's colleagues say this was a turn no one saw coming. She always had a smile on her face. She always had a greeting for you. She was always going to brag on how well her kids were doing, her student, you know, her children. The Polk County School District issued a statement calling this a devastating loss for a greatly loved teacher and colleague. I am told there were grief counselors here on campus for staff and students who needed one. Reporting live in Polk County, Georgia MacArthur, 8 on your side. Still to come.